Today we're going to be talking about six features that I believe should come into Funky Friday. The community was able to put together a bunch of cool pictures and also previews on what these features should look like. And these features should definitely help out a ton of you guys who are playing the game. And it will help make Funky Friday a more fun and enjoyable experience as well. So make sure you guys smack the like so more people know about these features. So if you're going to use star code attack when you're buying Robux or Premium. And if you could also subscribe as well. And let's dive into it. So the first feature comes from Lakes and You. And it's basically a robust custom arrow color system. Now I'm very grateful for the one that we have at the moment. Like you can definitely customize different colors for different arrows. But it is a bit confusing. Especially because not many people know how to use Hue. Unless if you look outside the game. Onto some website. Or maybe looking up some YouTube videos on it. You won't know exactly how to use it. Unless you really know your color codes. Now what this suggestion does is it definitely shows shows a really great picture of what the menu could look like and you also have multiple ways where you can change the color as well you can obviously change the hue which is like you know the, the color around the spectrum of visible light you can also change the brightness and also the saturation so you can get a really custom color a lot more custom than what you can get with the current system at the moment and if you look even deeper to it you can change the color for each arrow so it's going to be nice and labeled so it's a pretty easy menu to use and if you look even further there's also going to be presets where you you can save different color options as well so let's say you guys change the colors on your notes regularly and you switch back and forth and you don't want to keep changing it manually you can save that option in the preset menu as well as other colors and then you'll be able to switch them between very quickly so that's going to make things a lot more easier. And of course, there's also going to be a hex code feature as well. So if you guys want to be able to, you know, pick your own custom colors outside of the game, just record that hex number and then you just type it in and they'll show up as that same exact colors. So that would be cool to have like some sort of a hue color system like that, but revolving around hex, which I think makes a lot more sense than revolving it around hue. The number two suggestion that should come to Funky Friday is a song preview feature so instead of just trying to go through all the songs that are in the game currently and spending so much time trying to find it how about a song preview feature where if you just click on the song name it's gonna preview like a 10 second to 15 second clip of that song right on the menu so that way you know exactly what you're playing i think that would be a really great feature to have feature suggested by lay bob because you know there's gonna be a lot of people out there who are new to friday night funk and who are new to like certain mods that are coming out having this song preview feature in the menu is gonna help out people a lot especially if they want to try to figure out a song that they want to play that they're in the mood for it i know basically fnf remix has this feature as well but i feel like for funky friday it would definitely be a great inspiration as well because look how many songs that funky friday has like over 100 songs guys i think it would definitely make our lives a lot easier if we had this feature you know and speaking about preview features how about not a song one but how about an animation one as well so if you can see in this suggested photo in the background right here you can see that there's gonna be some preview preview buttons on the shops like for each of the animations and stuff like that if you click on that preview button this menu is gonna pop up that pretty much lets you see the animation in idle form and also within the different inputs as well so like up down left and right i think that's gonna be really cool you, know, you don't want to waste points in an animation that you don't want or you don't like like you know what i mean i feel like having this preview option for animations is definitely gonna go a long way it's definitely gonna make a lot of players appreciate it feature number four Four. This one's really funny actually. I got a good idea from this one But how about controllable emotes being added into funky Friday? So you know how we have the new emotes where you can just jump on top of a speaker and you start doing like a really cool animation Well, this funny gif showed up on the funky Friday discord server being shared all around the place And I thought how about we actually have this being added into the game like having controllable emotes where you can use your arrow keys on your keyboard or whatever you're on like mobile or something like that you can use like those arrow keys and stuff like that in order to create custom poses for your emotes i feel like that would be an insane thing to do because basically how emotes work at the moment it's like an animation but it just plays automatically it's not much you can do with them but then again that that is what an emote does you know you can't really do much with it but if they decide to beef it up a little bit 
where you can actually just use those inputs in order to do like custom poses and stuff like that I feel like that would definitely be a huge game changer to emotes now I might make them a lot more expensive because it's gonna be a lot more work being put behind them but I feel like it would definitely be worth it man like I wouldn't mind spending a couple more hundred points for a programmable emotes like that this could honestly open up three player matches too so like imagine if the emote player is able to play as a third player for certain songs or something like that like that would honestly be game changer like I don't know too many mods out there that offer three player support feature number five we also got screen shaking mechanics. So Derasazi suggested that, you know, certain songs such as Zevodila or the third song from Versus Tabby, they obviously have like shaking camera mechanics in their actual mods. And they actually put together this little clip of a video that showcases what the system or what the feature could look like. So we're gonna play it real quick so that way you guys can see it. So basically the screen's gonna be shaking around just like in the actual mod It might shake every time that Ruff plays on the left side or like every time that you know Tabby plays on the left side stuff like that I feel like that would be very good if you guys do not like the shaking You can always have it toggled off in the settings as well So it'd be a toggleable feature, but how this helps is it's gonna definitely boost up the replayability for older songs that are in the game currently and it's just gonna be more fun and satisfying to see the gameplay having a shaking animation like that You know it just makes your heart pumping and it puts you in the action a lot better And then our last feature how about more custom arrow skins? Now I know they might be adding in some more as we speak at the moment in future updates and stuff like that But the community has put together a huge list of great custom arrow skins for you guys So like first of all we got TWC's bar inputs as well so They're basically going to be like skinny bars as inputs instead of just having arrows or circular uh, inputs as well I know a lot of people use these skinny bars in certain other rhythm games as well Like their older ones for example it's gonna be very useful for certain songs just like when you're playing run against Bob You're gonna be able to see those inputs a lot more easier than arrows or big circles You know and Ryuko once again has been posting this picture of pretty much a ton of arrow skins from different mods It's definitely gonna give players in the game a lot more options to choose from you know personal preference wise and everything But what do you guys think about all of these features like which feature would you want to be seeing added into funky Friday? Like within the next update or something Thing. Let me know in the comment section down below which one was your favorite. Don't forget to smack the like so more people can agree with us on these suggestions for features. Don't forget to use star code attack when buying Robux or premium and don't forget to subscribe as well for more Funky Friday videos and we'll see you guys on the next video. Take care everybody.